black opal. Ever heard of opals? If yes, there's a good chance of knowing that they're typically creamy right in color. But did you know that there are also black opals? These gemstones happen to be much rarer than the latter and most of them come from the Lightning Ridge area of New South Wales, Australia. In the world of black opals, the most valuable ones are known to have a darker background color and bright play of color. In 1983, the precious Aurora Australis was discovered in Lightning Ridge. This 180 carat gemstone was considered the most valuable opal ever. What's more, in 2005, the black opal was valued at a whopping odd dollar one comma oh 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 comma oh oh oh. Tanzanite. Next up is the Tanzanite, a gemstone that can only be found in the foothills of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. It's good to point out that this beautiful blue gemstone was left in the dark until it eventually went mainstream in the 1960s. And of course, its initial popularity was as a result of the efforts of Tiffany & Company it was discovered in 1967 and christened by the jewelry company in 1968. For the most part, a good number of these gems are heat treated to improve the blue coloration. But of course, tanzanite that hasn't been heated still comes with an authentic blue color and they also tend to be of much higher value. To sum it up. There's a good chance that the value of this gemstone will increase with time. Why? Well, it's because tanzanite can only be found in a particular location, a small area near the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro, it's a no-brainer. Laramaur Also known as Stephylia's stone, Larimer is an incredibly rare blue variety of the mineral bactolite. This gemstone is found only in the Dominican Republic and its colors varies from white, green-blue, light blue to deep blue. It's important to note that the name of this stone was created by Miguel Mendez, the man who shot it into limelight. Larimer is actually the combination of the first four letters of his daughter's name and the Spanish word for C. Larissa and March this stone has been in existence for generations and the locals were very much aware of its presence, sediments were usually washed up the seashore. However, it wasn't until the 1970s that significant amounts of the mineral were discovered in the ground to start mining and extraction. Diderite. This gemstone was initially discovered in southern Madagascar but has since been found in other places around the world. For the most part, Grand Diderite was found in 1902 by French mineralogist Alfred Lacroix but was named after the French explorer Alfred Grand Didier. A good number of these stones are known to be translucent the rarest or most valuable ones are transparent. It's good to point out that the gemstone was initially mistaken for yet another rare stone, serendipite, but was eventually identified as Grand Diderite after expert analysis. Afterwards, the precious stone was sold for an undisclosed amount of money. It's truly one of the world's rarest gems that deserves to be on the top 10 list.
Top 10 Gemstones of All Time Gem Rock Auctions Muskravite This gemstone was discovered in 1967 in South Australia's Musgrave thus sits named dot during this time there were just eight popular Musgravite stones in the world. However, as time went on, small quantities of the gem has been found in Madagascar as well as other places like Antarctica, Greenland, Tanzania, and Sri Lanka. All in all, Musgravite is still incredibly scarce and of course, comes with a high price tag up to $35,000 per carat. Alexandrite This incredibly color-shifting gem was found in 1830 in the Ural Mountains of Russia and was named in honor of the Russian Tsar Alexander II. Perhaps the biggest highlight of Alexandrite is its remarkable color-changing capability, it looks blue-green in sunlight but turns red-purple under incandescent light. In fact, the gem's nickname Emerald by Day, Ruby by Night came as a result of how it shines in different light sources. To sum it up, New deposits of this stone have since been discovered in Sri Lanka, East Africa, and Brazil. But of course, these new mines didn't even make a din on its rarity and value.